All right, I found a distribution for all of you people using legacy hardware. This uses the lightweight LXDE user interface and it is a fork of Mandriva. I'm speaking about Rosa on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Talk about a really nice looking lightweight operating system for legacy hardware. We are looking at the Russian uh, distribution called Rosa. Now, um, let me give you a quick rundown of what we're seeing here on the screen. We've got our basic desktop here, and uh, down here you have a logout option, your time, your network, uh, volume control, your clipboard monitor. Uh, this is set for United States English. Um, and then, of course, a direct link to your downloads folder and a link to your documents folder is included here. Okay, you can iconify all windows by clicking here. You get the LXDE Control Center, Catfish, your file search. You also have um, Firefox, a LX Terminal, and your PC Man FM File Manager. We'll have a look at that in a moment. But first, I want to show you the uh, control center. I thought this was really nice how they put this together. Everything that you would want to configure your system is included right here with a quick launch to your appearance program, system security, network and internet, user accounts, access control, hardware and sound. So very nice how they put this together. And it's really nice to see a foreign distribution that automatically comes up. It appears in English. And it gives you the options to configure everything as you're about to boot this thing live. I think that's really nice. There are so many foreign distributions out there that don't even give you that option. So definitely thumbs up to you, Rosa, for doing this. I think this is really nice. And you will see that upon opening the PC Man FM File Manager, they did a really nice job with uh, making the appearance look really nice and modern for what it is. I like the icon sets that they have here and the PC Man FM file manager is very lightweight, doesn't use that many resources. I use it myself. I think it's I think it works like a charm. So good that, that this is included with this distribution. Okay, now you're gonna see here that there are not a whole lot of applications installed on this, but I think what was what they had in mind is they wanted to have something that was really lightweight that you could uh, just install and then build on top of. But you do get a few accessories, a calculator, you get the terminal leaf pad, which is a very lightweight text editor, personally, and X archiver and graphics. You get just get a simple image viewer. So if you want the GIMP or something to do some real uh, hefty image manipulation and that sort of thing, you'll have to go into the software center to get those. Uh, internet, just an instant messenger, and Firefox comes preloaded on this, and you also get the LibreOffice suite as well. Uh, and then, there, of course, there's a quick link to install and remove software. You get the uh, Dead Beef uh, audio player, the uh, Pulse audio volume control, and then, of course, VLC, which will play pretty much anything that you want. And then, also, you get uh, a few little system tools here to help you get the most out of your system. All in all, I'm really liking what I see here. Great for older hardware. Uh, so, if you're looking for, so if you have an old Windows computer, that, that you're ready to toss out the window, put it to work for you, slap this on there, um, th and make that computer work like brand new again. Well, that's all I have on this distro. If you have legacy hardware, definitely check this one out. Mm -hmm.